into this video i just want to take it to from scratch to finish how to make a simple form and you yourself with practice and understanding you can create your own form in a very nice way so without wasting time let's get started but first i just want to appreciate all my subscribers and viewers please if you are new to my channel hit the subscribe button below and click the notification bell thank you so um we need i need to hide all the desktop icons for a button here okay so for now i just need to go to i just need to go to the windows start menu <coughs> and um, click access microsoft access here yeah so from here the next thing i need to do i just need to um file name let me just say um a form yeah let me just say form then from here then let me say create make sure you select the blank here then you click create from here when this windows pump up just go ahead and close this you can see not here this can close the entire windows but this can close the open tab here as you can see table one so if you want to close this table you can go ahead and click the x here as you can see here close table here I can close the entire windows but here just a close table so from here you go to create create tab here then you go to table design not table or table design so it bring you the design you just need to enter your your data so go to table design and this is it so it is just a simple form that we are going to create that i am going to create so follow the steps don't miss anything watch this video till the end because I am going step by step to make sure everything is um okay for years so um here field name field name here you are going to select you are going to put type in all the names of um all the the the, the names you want the names you want to be in the form huh? all the names you want in the form you need to type them here okay so um the first thing we need to type here we say first name huh? first name let's just make it um book eh? cap, uh, cap lock let's just make them big letter. so let's just say first name then um, here we go yeah we, this is text eh? these are text so we select text this click the, these are all data type but as we go I select the data type for the appropriate um, field so first name here the second one we go to last name and um, this one again should be text this one again we go to um, gender yeah this one we go to gender gender this one again should be text okay but I want you to give a drop down because gender comprises of what male and female so you need to give this um, data type a drop down so how to do this one is just go ahead and um, click this um, drop down here and go to look up wizard go to look up wizard here when this window is pump up just go ahead and select this one i will type the value that i want so click this one then you go to next so when you go to next the first one here you just need to type mail yeah go to the second one and type female 
then we go to next then we go to finished okay now your gender has a lookup now it has a lookup wizard that comprises of uh, male and female so we need to the, the next one we need to go to date of birth date of birth yeah so this one date of birth the date of birth means the time and date so you don't need to select text you don't need to select number of words time and date because you want to know the time and the date that you were born so you need to select when you go to the data type you select time and date so here let's just say address address here then address we need to go we need to select text address you select text okay so the next one here we need to put here um let's just say um let's just say if you are a student let's just say department eh? department department should be text and yeah let's leave it this way for simple understanding if you want as many as you want you can go ahead and put them the file field name here and then make sure you select the appropriate um, data type okay so we are okay with this one so all we need to do uh, we need to go to um data sheet view when you click this one um it will this. you must first save this table you go to yes then just let's just see tab table one okay, table one so this message here although a primary key isn't required yes i didn't put a primary key here because i know they will ask you for this option so no need to put id number here type id for the field name and go and select um text and other stuff no just leave it that way continue with first name last name and the, the rest so when you want to save um the 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 they will ask you this question this there is no primary key defined yeah this message say although a primary key is in required it's highly recommend a table must have a primary key for you to define a relation between the table and other tables in the database do you want to create a primary key yes don't say no if you don't need at all a primary key here you can go ahead and say no but for mine here i need a primary key so i can go ahead and say yes so here is it this is my id number so primary key it can create you a id number yes so this is it so we already have a table here so all we need to do we want to create a form okay we want to create a form so how to create a form i just need to close this table here we already have the table if you want to see this table you double click this one this is the table but we don't want to see this table i close it here but you can access it here again so i just need to go to create uh, we are creating form eh? okay you need to go to form design okay you need to go to form design then when this this is the field let me just extend it here okay this is form design okay so what we need to do here yeah this one is to okay let it be this way so the next step here we need to go to um when you when you click create and select form design when this field appear all you need to do you need to go to add existing field when you say add existing field you click this one add, add existing field why do we need to add existing field because we already create a table here and this table has all the um field we want when you click 
it has your ID, first name, last name, gender, date of birth, address, department, as well as if you want to create another one, you can go ahead and click click to add another um, um, another column here to input your field name. So yes, um, to to import all this field name to this um, um, form field, so you need to go to add existing field and say show all tables. When you say show all table here, you can see a plus logo here. Just click the plus logo and all the table here will be um, for you. So all you need to do, just double click them here. Yeah, that will be double click them and you can see it in the field here. Double click them. Just double click them. Okay, so this is it. This is how we want it. Yeah, so Yeah, this is how we want it. I'm trying to adjust this one for you so you can get a better and understand. Just a control Z. So this is your simple form here. Okay. So this is it. You need to separate them now to make it more monetized for you. Alright, so much. Okay. This way. This way. Yeah, this way. This way. Okay. This way is okay. So, um, you need to separate them here to make it more unique. To create a form, you need to push it. Here you can do all your design and edit under the, this one. If you want to edit like I am doing presently, as you can see over there, the design view. Under the design view, you can see the pen logo here design view you can go ahead and click design view so you can access this field you can do your editing here and for other thing here you can go to the form view after you do all your design to see what you have designed you need to click the form view then you can see it here yeah so let's go back to design view to let um, organize this one properly yes After you, you are done with the work at the end, it, it will be unique, pretty nice. To create a form is pretty simple. Just follow the step that I have used to create mine. So you need to extend this one. You need again to extend this one. This one will be nice. Okay. So, make sure you bring it down because we need to. Yeah, this is the form. Okay, this is the form. Okay, so. 
we are good so you can go to design view so um we want to make this the text is here to be in a brighter view so we go to format here and we click the bold here and under the a here the font color you select um black so you can go ahead and select um, 14 or a bigger font 14. Yeah, this is good. Yeah. So increase the size a bit. So yeah. Okay. So um, this is it. Um, you can see. Um, when you go to form view, you can see ID. This is your ID. First name, this is your first name. Last name, you can see for the, the drop down here, you can see male and female. This is what we call the cop give you the opportunity to select from the drop down because you cannot say, um, you, you cannot say when you say what is your name, you say moment command and automatically you type for the gender you put in name. So, in this drop down, you just need to select male if you are inputting for male. Then, in drop down again, you select female if you are inputting for female. Even if you are inputting for male, then you select female later. You detect that um, for, for, for that person, you need to, um, under the gender, you need to select um, female, but you already inputted male. So, you, you can still go and change it to female yeah date of birth you are good to go so look up give you the access to the, this one the drop down yeah so this is the work of the book so we need to do more modernize we need to modernize this one yes this one we need to make it more unique so you just need to select it and right click to a special effect, um, I would like to use. Uh, I would like to use this one. Yeah, this one. To phone view. Yeah, this is good. I like to use this one. So when you want to change the the the, the text box, let me see. It is text box, so you can go and say special effect. Then you can go ahead and change it. Okay, so this is it. Um, this is not all. Um, when you are creating a form, you are not making a form for a single place. Mind you, you are taking data of different people, not one, not two, not even ten. So you need to make access to how to go to the next um, record, how to go to a new record, how to go back to the previous record. How to input all these things okay so if you want to do these things um, this is for just a simple um, form I will making a video on how to make a very unique and nice form okay so in this video I just want to show you how to um, just create a simple form okay so if you want to do all these things you just need to go select this one Head. Let me say I need it here. Select it. Okay. And what we need to do here, sorry, what we need to do, we, go, we need to go to the um, go to the first record, go to the last record, go to the next record, go to previous record. Let me just say go to the next record. Select here. Mind you, don't select text, but select picture, so you can you can see it's this way. When you select text, you can only see next record. This is not unique but make it in a picture form so you can see the next record logo here so you need to go to the next or you go to finish go you are done the work yeah so this is it next record so you, you can still go again here do the same thing release then you go to the previous record go to next then you go to finish Uh, this is very nice yeah. so um, you can still go again because we want to go to the yes um, go to last record
this. Which last cycle here? So, yeah, this way. Then we again do the same thing. Um, go to go to first record. Go to finished. Yeah. Again. Yeah. Go to find record. Go to find the next. Go to find the record. You can see here. If you want to find the record, you can see the logo here. You can modernize. You can. If you don't see what you want here, you can go the record operation. You can see delete record, duplicate record, save record. Then just a save record. You go to um, finished. Okay, go to next and say finished. Save record. You take it in. It here. After you input all the information, you just need to go to save record. We are going to use all this, this, um, this um, logo that we just input here. So we are okay with this one. For example, you can go ahead and input to make your, um, to make your form more modernized. You can go ahead and put this out. Okay. Application reports. You can see all these stuff here. Yeah. Make it more unique. In the nice way, it will be good to look when you make it in a very modernized way. Okay, so let's just say we don't need this one. Let's just say. Okay, so. You can go ahead if you if you have the form you are creating if you are having a logo yes you can go ahead if you are having a logo you can go ahead and say you can go ahead and say insert image yes you can go ahead and say go to the desktop um, let's just say visit um, TV. Let's see, this is the same thing. This one, I want to go here, the top of the form. Yes. So, um, if I need a letter head, if I need a letter head for it to be at the top of the form, you can still go to browse here and go to desktop. Select this. This is my letter head. Select it this way. And you can see I draw the text box from the edge of my, my um, form. As you can see, here is where my form starts, and this is the ending. So look at it. It is not fit. So all you need to do, you just need to um, increase, add the height of the letter head. The more you add the height, the more it. Yeah, this is it. The more you add the height, the more it. It's going to be unique, okay? Okay. So we have, here we go. So this is it. This is your logo now. Yeah. So. You can add as many logo you want, just use the process I just used, okay? So the next step, let's just, um, let's just go to, let's just save the form, okay? Just go to save, save the form here, form. Format. Let's just say save, okay? Let's just say form 1. I have saved the form, so, okay. So let's just go to um, what we call data sheet view, okay? Uh, form view, okay? This is the form view, okay? So all we need to do, I will want to input information here. So <clears throat> ID number, um, the 
the ID number is 001. You can't edit the ID number because you make it more um, private, okay? It gives you ID number the more you add forms, okay? The more you go to a new form, it gives that form an ID number, okay? So the first name, let's just say, B A I K A take out commentary. Yeah. Oops, I guess I'm just taking last name. Oh sorry. Yeah. This is first name, okay? Last name is say content. Gender, you can click the drop down and select mail. Date of birth and date of birth, let's just say first. Okay, you can go ahead after you click. You can go ahead. This is you can see the calendar here. You can go ahead and click the calendar. You can see today for an example. Okay, or you can go ahead and select the year here, select the, the year. That we are going to select the month, select the day, and you click. The more you select them, you can see them appear here. Okay, so I need I, I only need this one. So address, let's just say uh, I'm marking. Yeah, department. I I am science student department. Let's just say science. Okay. So this is it. So we need to we let's just say save. I have saved this form. So for me to go to um, the next record, okay? You can see this is next record, previous record, last record, first record. So I go to a new record, okay? If you want to go to the previous record that we have created, you can you can go to the previous record. This is it. So we go to the um, you can see here my ID number is one. Okay, you cannot edit it. So when we go to a new record, you can see uh, this is in bracket new. Okay, as you start to type, as you start to input in information in this record, it can give you a ID number of two. Let's just say, um, you can see this, you can see there two. ID number two, then you can go ahead and put in the, your information you want. Then you can go ahead and go to the last record, go to next record, and previous. How you want it. This is it. This is how to create a form, guys. I just want to appreciate you. Just follow this step by step until the end. Follow it step by step. Okay. Um, in the video to come, I'm making a video. On how to create a very modernized form in Microsoft Access 2010. Okay, thank you very much. I want to appreciate you for watching this video till the end. Please hit the subscribe button if you 